We're back. With vampires in platinum ranks. We've done our regulation duels. We now come back over to here. We are one win away from platinum tier four. I think I've been high. What's the highest I've been with this deck? Uh, I'm sure I've been like up in the plat two, plat three place, but I don't know. All I know is I've got four more days left to play this deck. Uh, I've changed the deck a little bit. Slightly. So, in fact, I might, as well, I might as well show you my other deck. And then you can compare it to the two. So, this is the deck I've been playing pretty much mostly all month. Which was this version. Um, so, it's pretty much standard. It's got the Beeru in there. It's got Rival of the Warlords. There's the extra deck. It's got two Super Polys. It's got Masquerade because we're playing against Despier all the time. This thing, that thing, uh, these here. There's that. But I wanted to take it down a little bit more basic. I wanted to play it a little bit more vampiric, if you get me. So we've gone with this version instead, which is taking a bit out of the deck. Uh, we've still got the uni zombies in here. Of course, the Mizuki and the Gozuki I've been recommended to put in. It's a lot of monsters. It is a lot of monsters. We have two Maxi, three Ash Blossom. Um, we have two Vampire's Domain and two Vampire Domination, which I don't know how I feel about, but we really need to start getting these Vampire cards. Because one of the horriblest things about this deck is... We only have one proper opener in the vampire deck, and that is Vampire Ghost. This is the big problem with vampires, is they need more, like, starting cards. They need a spell card to get them started, which needs to be added to the deck, basically. That would help out a ton. But they don't have anything like that. So, if you don't open Vampire Ghost, you're probably going to suffer. That's why we have the Uni Zombie in here to sort of help out a little bit. So, we've got six starters now, which is the Uni Zombie... And it is also the Vampire Ghost. And the Mizuki, I guess, can help out just a little bit. It depends what else you've got in your hand. But the problem with Vampire Ghost is as well. I normal summon Vampire Ghost. I activate its effect. My opponent uses uh, Ash Blossom. That's my strat done. So this is one of those decks where it needs more support. And I don't know when it's going to get more support, but it, it does need some. Still, the best card in the deck is Baladrock, which I've learned to say properly over this time. But this is a great card. Um, I had a really amazing duel the other day where... I just went into so many different vampires. I was so proud of the plays I was making because it was pure vampire plays. Vampire vamps in then in as well now. Um, I don't know if it'll stay in, but it's a beautiful card. So I think one for one. One for one was in the previous version, but I've just taken it out for a little bit. Um, it could go back in. It could go back in, honestly. Germanium, okay. You've been hit by a crush card virus. I hope not. Okay, we're gonna go... I'm literally going to go from a second turn Unchained deck back to a first turn uh, Vampire deck. So we need to get used to that. Card Destruction. Small World. Small World is really big brain. <laughs> I don't know how good I'd be at using uh, Small World. Okay, so here's an example of what do I do here? Because we've got two of the Vampire cards, but we're in a pickle. Because we can't get any of them in the grave. Unless... Dump one. Normal summon... Familiar. Normal summon Scourge. Or should I wait on Scourge? See, I'm going to run out of normal summons. That's the only thing. Um, normal summon another retainer. Send both to the graveyard. I'll do, the scour I'll do the Scourge play. Why not? It's going to cost me a thousand life points, but still. We I don't have a Link Karibo. I was going to put a Link Karibo, and I don't have one. But I kind of do need one. I have to craft a Link Karibo. Ugh. Sounds like nightmare fuel. Deck to hand. Deck to hand. Hmm... The right answer here is like a Vampire Grace or something. But then I can't get any more monsters. But I can't special summon anything else anyway, so I kind of want to take a Frau Lion. Um, I guess I could take a Vampire Ghost for next turn. And then just, you know... Let's just hope we, li we live, right? You know? Let's just hope we survive. goes with domain can you use two domains can i get another normal summon if i play another one of these 
that thing. Vampire Sucker. Nah, d domain only works once per turn. Okay, that's a shame. That would have been kind of kind of busted. You know? That would have been kind of uh kind of cool. Oh, well, well, we'll get Ghost in the Grave, actually. This can work. There you go. Vampire Ghost is in Grave. I get another normal summon now. This will be my third normal summon. Uh, what we're going to take, we are going to take ourselves... Probably the trap, yeah. We're going to get a sneak peek at next month's deck? Probably not, no. I'm probably going to leave it till um, next month before we start making executive decisions like that. And this is probably where I could have gone for a different play here, but... That'll have to do. That's as, uh, that's as good as my play is going to be, unfortunately. We've got one Omni Negate. We've got one. If my monster gets attacked, I get to do something about it. If I special summon a vampire monster, I don't know how that's going to happen. I get to draw a card. And we've got one Ash Blossom. We've got one Call by the Grave. Um, this ain't, isn't a great start in field. Not going to lie. Terraforming. Am I playing Numeron? Probably. Negate. What other decks are playing uh, field spells at the moment? Marinces? I, I don't want to play Marinces out of the, the Link Festival. Please, no. Oh, okay. Oh, Dogmatica. Will their Dogmatica... Uh, if this card is Ritual Summon, you can target two face-up monsters on the field. Can I negate that is the question. It's fine. Okay, I've never played against a Dogmatica Ritual Fairy deck, so this is going to be very new and probably not very exciting for me, but it's fine. You. You can add a ritual monster or a ritual spell. None of that. None of that. Right, still got one Omni Gates. You whipped a Marincess player and saved the replay. Nice, nice, nice. We like to hear it. Almirage. One normal monster. Okay. Secure Gardener. Okay. What's happening? I need three more months until I have enough replay points once again. Well, we enjoyed your replay last time, Tomias. Vampires! Internet was starting to go a bit funky as well. Okay, I have been at this level before, so nothing impressive yet. We're fine. We just need to keep winning. I conquer them in your name. Do it. Playmaker. We're playing against Yusaku. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cookie Man, how's it going? Uh, the new Dogmatica Ritual Monster looks sick. It's like a Resident Evil zombie monster. I've seen some of the new, like, Dogmatica Despia cards and things. Look so good. This one where it's like Ecclesia falling from the sky. She's like upside down and dead. And you've got a Fallen of Albaz, like, reaching towards her. The lore is so cool. I'll definitely have to make a video. It's just, it's very long. It's very long. Tenyi. been a hot minute since I've uh, played these. Do you run Zombie World? We do. We play two Zombie Worlds. We have the zombie package, basically. We have Zombie World, Zombie World, Alderock, Plague Spreader. The one that's not Plague Spreader. Glow Bulb or whatever it's called. And 
Whatever the other stuff is. Oh, God. All phase monsters on the field become water. Once per turn during the, the main phase, you can, you can destroy one water monster your opponent controls. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack. Well, that's not ideal. Oof. Vampire Ghost effect. Send. Scourge. We can special summon that back with Vampire's Desire, I guess. If it survives. Oh. I... That shouldn't interrupt my, uh, my Ghost's effect. That's fine. Scourge is very important, though, but... That means I can't go into uh, Beatrice now. That means I can't get the field spell, Zombie World. That means I can't get my uh, Baldurok into the grave. No worries. No harm. No harm. Um, I'll take the grace because we can dump it in the grave anyway. And we'll throw in the grave. I guess familiar. I don't know. That one. can destroy one water monster your opponent controls. Oh! <sighs> can be added. So, I can't add a monster. I see, I see. Um... I think he'd let me attack. Fun fact, the first two duels I had on ranked were both Monarch decks. And it freaked me out. Because I didn't know why. Okay, that'll do for now. Just hope we don't get OTK'd. I can normal summon once, and I can do some plays in the next turn. Nineteen hundred damage. Oh, can you do that both turns? Once per turn, during the main phase... Oh, we're in the battle phase. Okay. Screw life points! <laughs> uh, the fact that I can do that every single turn is very annoying. I, might, I sh probably should have waited till I attacked. I think I can normal summon. Is it target? No, it doesn't. It just destroys. All right, all right, all right. Have I just uh, done the Dream Mirror story? I haven't done Dream Mirror and the one that was before that. I think we're going to do it on one of these streams. Before the, the, the start of the next month, I think. Empire Grace, eh? Familiar. Send Grace to Grave. She's done having a call by. Goes and match. Each player can control one attribute of monster. Well, I only play dark, so... No, I don't. I'm playing water as... Oh. Damn you, floodgates! Damn you. I don't want to do. <clears throat> I assume I can't tribute. I could probably set, but I definitely can't tribute. Oh. Set, 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 set. Uh 
Uh, TGS, your icon border looks nice. Thank you, you 2 o Thank you very much. Thank you for noticing. It only took me forever to unlock. Thank you so much. Take that compliment. Ugh, what is this? Why does it have to detach cards or anything to use its effect? Bye, bats. Bye, desire. I guess I can normal summon, though, now. Mini zombie. Thank you, Pride. Oh, I got it from getting max rank in the uh, the link event. You like it? What do you destroy? Just monsters? One water monster. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose. Sorry, let me, let me clarify that. Yes, I'm going to lose. Thoughts on DNA transplant, changing the type of type to insect and playing insect barrier. That sounds like a uh, a Weevil Underwood strategy, absolutely. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. Special summon a zombie monster from your hand. I would love to do that, but that floodgate is not letting me. I can't do anything. Again. Yeah. 1,300 damage. Attack me directly for 1,900. I cry. Such a simple... It's literally just two cards that have locked me down here. And I can't get over it. Oh, thank God. Um, I mean, I can survive another turn, which is kind of nice. I might be able to... No, I won't be able to survive because he can just destroy it. What's your other effect? Quick effect, you can destroy one monster. monster. If this exceeds some cards destroyed, you can push some stuff. The Royal Zombie World. Thank you. Normal summon Gozuki. I need Gozuki's effect to kind of work to get uh, Baldurok into the grave. Never mind. Oh, you can just kill me. That was fun. <laughs> summon destroy, summon destroy, summon destroy. Oh, plat three is where it gets real serious. What should I have done? Just set everything. Some of the same skeleton shirt. Fun fact, it hasn't been washed. Nope, hasn't been washed. Too bad anyway for like the three hours we're on stream. How smelly can I get? It's like the only Halloween shirt. How many Halloween themed clothes do you guys have? I have literally one thing. There's a Harry Potter t-shirt uh, jumper count. I'm sure I've got some, like, spooky Halloween-y things. Okay. Bit of that. I always forget to do um, Zombie World first. Glorp Bloom. I could have sent Baladrock. I could have done that. Special Summon... Anything I want, it's going to be Baladrock. I'm locked into... What am I locked into? Zombies only, zombies only. Right, we're going to summon Scarlet Scourge. And I need to get a level 6 monster in the grave. For some reason. In fact, why would I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Two level sixes make um, Beatrice activate Beatrice's effect. I think there's anything I want to send to the graveyard. Maybe not actually. Maybe I should go at a monster. Yeah. I 
Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Blow up gloom. Halloween is on Monday. It is true. Vampire Sucker, or just leave these two on the board? Vampire Sucker, because then if... When Bola Drop comes back... I get to draw a card. In phase. If Bola Drop comes back, of course. But we can negate it. We can negate the, the called by, worst case. Or the Ash Blossom. Okay. Standby phase. Baladrock comes back. Vampire Sucker attempts to let me draw a card. Maybe they Ash or they don't Ash. Let's find out. No Ash. That's literally heartbreaking. No worries. Um, are we playing... I see a Harpy Spell, but I'll start to assume Numeron straight away. I don't know why. I need that zombie world. No, I don't think Halloween should be a take-off work kind of uh, holiday. I mean, in the UK, it's not really a big thing. Halloween here is kind of... People don't really care. Which is kind of a shame. I wish we did care a little bit more. I like Halloween. Should all. Haha. <laughs> Oh, ho. hee hee. Ooh, windy. I'm going to have everything banished, aren't I? Or oh, am. Would you do Divine des December? Maybe. What do we mean by Divine? Like Egyptian gods or like sacred beasts? What's, what's Hedgehog going to do? This guy's since. That's fine. I guess we can do a bit of that. Send big in the US. Egyptian gods. Wicked Avatar Turbo. Should all core. Should all schism. I've got one banish and one negate still. Oh yeah, I forgot. Got Ash Blossom now. <laughs> Very nice. Numeron November. No. Absolutely not. Can I banish face down? I just want from the field of graveyard. So we could banish that. America has Thanksgiving around now as well. Uh, I believe so, yeah. The only thing we've got left is... Uh, bonfire Nights. Ah, I could have used Ballad Rock. He had everything! Well, well, well. I wanted a Jarmatoba. Sam didn't do it. What do we get in October instead? We're in October now, aren't we? The vampires! Is there anything to do with blood? That's to do with the, the letter O. O negative October. There you go. Yeah, we're, uh... Oh, look, a Wendy. A Winder. I get one special summon now. Oh, Jamas are scarier than vampires. You know what's actually scarier? Uh, Moki Moki. This... Moki Mokis are, like, uh, pretty dark when you look, look at some of the artworks that they appear in. They're, like, standing over, like, treacherous trap holes and things. 
Okay, luckily we have some cars that let us normal summon again. But I'll be honest, we're not in a, a great place. I'm. It's it's good to know that we have a second uh, Necro World now. But this is, again, not ideal. Activate Vampire Retainer's effects. Send Vampire Familiar to the grave. This is my one special summon, and it's about to be gone. Out of this is the scariest. They're, they're pretty spooky, I'm not gonna lie. I can get enough normal summon. Maybe I can stay in this. Extra normal summon. Activate this. Activate the effect of this. Can I stop that with Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring? I don't think I can. Because it uses the grave. No, I can't. This is going to be heartbreaking. My plan here, normal summon Necro World Banshee is my normal normal summon. My normal normal summon, yeah. Uh, use Vampire's Domain, summon Vampire Vamp. Use Vampire Vamp's effect to latch on to Winda. It Hitotsu no, no Mii's me. And then I, I profit from that. But it's looking like that won't happen. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe I latch on to this instead. No. Summon Vamp. I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't think I can put all the uh, the gods together. Wiki gods. Summon Banshee. I tribute my Vampire Retainer and my Necrowell Banshee to normal summon Vampire Vamp. What can't you be destroyed by? Is it battle or card effects? Can it be destroyed by an opponent's card effects? Okay. So I activate the effect of Vampire Vamp. This card battles a special summon. We could actually get over that as well, but I guess we'll... We'll become one, please. Oh, wait. I've never done this before. What? Look at it! This is so sick. Um, I mean, I might as well use Necrowall Banshee's effect now. I can't really see it going wrong in any way. Banshee's effects, banish. Put the royal finish one on the field. You're a vampire now. Vampire vamp, my new card. Destroy Winder. Plus, I get 2,600 life points back thanks to my Vampire's Domain. Woohoo! Uh-oh. What does he get from the grave? That was cool. I enjoyed every second of that. Um... I could use Vampire Familiar, send Domain to the graveyard to add a Frowl line to my hand. And I got one more defense. I'll leave it. We're going to get um, Thingy back during the standby phase anyway. Wait until he has Squamata set. Aladrock. I'm going to read Vampire Vamp properly. Can I take a face down monster? What's the term when this card or a vampire monster is normal summoned to your field? You can target one monster your opponent controls whose so attack is higher than this card, so I can't take any more unless it has more than 4,800 attack. Uh, equipped to this card. Gains attack equals combined visual attack of the monster equipped to this card. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped with a card by this effect, special summon this card. That's pretty cool. Squamata. 
That's the destroy one, right? See, now I know he's got the fusion. He's got a Chanel fusion in his hand. Alright. I guess we'd have to. We can wait till that comes out. You can target a face up monster. Then, if it becomes face down response, you gain zero attack. Okay. So, if I paid like Book of Moon or something there. Uh, I'm sorry, what has that effect? Okay, no worries. We'll negate that one then. Squamata attempts to destroy a card. It's a zombie though. So we will negate. Thank you, Baladrock. Uh oh. Banish the squ Squamato. Uh oh. Why do people want me to use the banish instead of the uh Negate the effect. This is a different chain now, so I can banish. Beautiful. Uh, the nice thing there was if he attacked my vampire vamp, thinking that it was special summoned, because it was actually normal summoned, we would have been fine, I guess. I feel like this could work. I feel like... Uh, what can they make? Should have banished the construct and then took the hits. Then negated if he sent... Uh, forward planning. You banish, don't you? You can target one face-up card on the field and negate its effects. Ah, heartbreaking. And by a vamp, no. My zombie world's doing duffing. This will still come back, though, right? This card is sent to the graveyard while equipped with a card. Oh. Doesn't have anything anymore. We're still in this. Right, you can't be destroyed by battle, right? Must first can I be destroyed by battle? Okay. What do we need? Special summon a zombie monster in my grave. I could get vampire vamp back. Summon Mizuki, send both to the graveyard. Activate Mizuki's effects. Special summon Vampire Vamp. Or summon Scarlet Scourge. Normal summon Uni Zombie. Definitely ready to send from the deck. Ah, uh, no, I could have banished this. What am I doing? Let's hope an effect activates. We're all breathtaking. Thank you, Omni Overworld. What is the smallest soft drinks in America? Minnesota. Hehe, <laughs> Minnesota. El Shadal Winder. It's not ideal, I'm not gonna lie. This person has broke my heart, but luckily I've only normal summoned so far.
Yeah, normal summoning. That would have been fine, I think. We could have done that. I might summon my ace monster. I might summon uh, the void or the void, however you want to pronounce it. That seems like a good summon. I won't get Mizuki's effect right off the bat, but... Oh, no, I won't get... Oh, I won't be a special summon. That's a shame. I don't get the void, the void's heart, uh, heart effect. Ridiculous. You can't be destroyed by a uh, battle, right? Yeah. yeah. Voivode. Vo Voivode's effect activates. I like the void though. The void sounds so cool. Voivode's effect negates your window in the grave. Mizuki's effect. Summon vamp back. Options here. Summon Scourge? YOLO, I guess? Might as well have more uh, more stuff on the board. I could take that um, Apcolon. You! God damn it. That's a beefy monster, though. Gotta say. I was gonna take his Apcolon. I was gonna uh, make the Link 3 vampire monster. Um, special summon one of his monsters in his grave to my side of the field. Tribute my monster. Steal his monster. Both would be level 8. I could overlay them both. Summon my my big monster. Activate its effect. Mill top 4 cards off both of our decks. And special summon one of those cards to my side of the field. It would have been beautiful. But he ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Aladrock, you, you, you're all I've got at the moment. Yes, the Salomon Great boss monster. What? Nibiru? <laughs> That's how we counter Salomon Great. Construct doesn't care. It's true. Yep. Squamata? Dragon. Does he have something else that can... It's fine? I don't know. A lot of stuff in the grave. Oh! Um... No, don't use that. Ah, the cost to bring the void back is way too steep. I wish you could use Vavode's effect and tribute your opponent's monsters um, if you had Vampire Sucker on the field. I think that would make it like a really decent deck boss monster. Maybe too strong, actually. Badish that. What, this? How's he going to flip it up, though? We're alright for a bit, aren't we? Constructs. Its effect will activate on its summon. How many more of these do I have to deal with? Is that the last construct? There's two constructs gone. And where's the third one? Is it in the grave at least? It's another shit. 
He's tore through two Winder, one Apcalon, and two Construct. So he's got another one in here somewhere. I take 1100 damage, fair play. Can I get enough attack on the board to win this duel? I can do 20... Oh no, it's summoned in defense. I can't. Alright, calm down. Aladroc. Normal summon uni zombie. Activate uni zombie's effects. Let's change the level of this monster. Let's activate Baladrock's effects. That is the current issue. But this will destroy... What will it destroy? I don't know what happened to the computer then, by the way, because that was kind of scary. So one card, you controls, return to the hand. Hmm. Your internet's behaving. I'll get rid of that for now. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. Push one zombie monster from your hand. Don't have one. Who's in here? Nothing. So I guess I'll send one of these for now. A dark monster. Ahoy hoy! Yeah, a ballad dropping hand does suck, I agree. I don't have any uh, droplets anymore. Ooh, hoo, 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 that would be nice. If this guy is special summoning, you can target one face up monster on the field, negate its effects. If this. No. Can I be destroyed by battle? Ah! Ah! I need something. I guess it can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, the vote. Oh, oh, we can uh, we can negate the schism. That's kind of cool. This thing, special summon, tribute self, summon. Ah. Do I have the time? Fascinator, special summon. Tribute itself. All right, real quick. One, two. Hold on. 40 seconds. Fascinator's effect against special summon a card from his... Graveyard to my field. It'll become a level 8. I'll summon Apcalon again. Don't think of his Apcalon. Uh-oh. My bad. TikTok, buddy. I'm trying, I'm trying. Did he just get his Apcalon back? All right, I've thrown. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I've done this. I've deserved this. I'll admit it. Should have just stopped. Got carried away. Got carried away. It's negated at least. Yeah. 
I'm throwing. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Now nah, we don't have zombie stun. <gasps> that was still the end of the turn. Oh, we really are throwing. <laughs> oh, God. No. No. Oh, yeah, Baladrock. I forgot. Is Master your main way of playing Yu-Gi-Oh? It is. It is. It is. I, I don't play IRL anymore. How many cards I got left in my deck, actually? I didn't even check. 19. We absolutely would have won this duel if I didn't do uh, that play. I should have just been happy what I had. I'm so greedy. I'm such a greedy boy. Hang on a minute. Vampire Familiar. Actually, we have to do that. Domain's not really going to help me out here. I mean, to be fair, we went down to the field. It's getting smaller. I could summon up my Vavode now, I think. Which isn't enough to win. But if I add a weaker monster, I think with Vavode and whatever monster I add, probably the, uh, the vampire zombie, whatever it's called. Okay, maybe not. Actually, will it add it? Wait! I don't have enough life points. Ignore me. Please, Vavode. Vavode, you, you will special summon yourself, right? Because the card will special summon. No, it won't. Okay. No worries. Look, I'll take that win. I don't know how, but through all the misplays that I just made, somehow we've come out on top. I don't know how that's happened. We shouldn't... I guess we depleted a lot of his resources. I guess. But I'll take it. I'll take that win. <laughs> do you play that uh, cool rank AXE's monster? I do, I do. But we can only get it out if we steal some of his monsters. Not a clean game, but that was super fun to watch. Thank you, Violet Eden. Thank you. Vampires, am I right? To be fair, Baladrock kept me in that game. If I forgot about Baladrock, and if Baladrock wasn't in my graveyard, I probably would have lost. Why did he scoop? Probably got bored of me. Even though he probably didn't know my timer was super low either. I don't blame him. Zombie world and a uni zombie. Nice. A vampire ghost and a vampire familiar. Uh-oh. I have two different ways of starting the duel now. Normal summon vampire ghost. Send a uh, familiar... No, we don't. Mm, we don't do that. We summon Uni Zombie. Activate its effect. No. We activate Zombie World. We normal summon Uni Zombie. Activate Uni Zombie's effect. Send Glow Up Bulb from the deck to the grave. Activate Glow Up Bulb's ability to special summon Baladrock. Activate Uni Zombie's second effect. Send Vampire Familiar to the grave. Use Vampire Familiar's effect in the grave. Send Vampire Ghost from my hand to the grave. Special summon it. Add a card from my deck to my hand. We'll add... Mm. Not an amazing play. Oh, we're going to have... Okay, it's going to be troublesome now, actually. It looks like a straight up hell single Vampire Hunter D. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a good artwork. The zombie vampire. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It just looks awesome. You can imagine that as a Castlevania boss, couldn't you? You have a very nice teacher presenter voice. Oh, thank you. 
I don't think that about myself, but it's nice to hear it regardless. When I listen to myself back, I'm like, rim, 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 rim. Sword Soul is so boring. To be fair, it's been a hot minute since I played against Sword Soul. So this is fresh for me again. But after I play them a few times, it probably will lose its charm. Uh, this thing I hate. I hate this thing so much. If I special summon or activate a spell or trap, they can banish it and do 1200 damage. So I can't play Zombie World. The vote is Dracula. Ah, ah, ah. Kurosaki. Kurosaki. That's, who's that from anime now? Kurosaki. Oh, that's from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Kurosaki, isn't it? That's um, the dude that plays Raid Raptor. Still Zombie World using Banshee. Very true. We're in a pickle. Absolute pickle. I think we're going to lose. Kurosaki from Bleach. Oh, Ichigo? Ah, okay. That makes more sense. Bankai. Submit an archetype for archetype lore. Absolutely not. No way. I have to, the, the thing with the archetypes, I have to do it at my own pace. I think if people were suggesting archetypes for me to do, and I felt like I had to get those videos out, I wouldn't enjoy making them. Sometimes I'll start making an archetype video and I just I don't find like doing the research very interesting. So sometimes I just move on. Oh my god. I've never seen someone get three synchro monsters out on the first turn. How's he done that? What's the other level 8? Baxia? Dragite. That's spell and trap negate, isn't it? Spell or trap. When your opponent has to be spell or trap hit while a water monster is in your graveyard, you can get the activation. If you do, destroy it. Where's my sphere mode? What well, rarity is my zombie world? Royal finish. Royal guard. Nice, yeah. You know what's funny? Um, I crafted a second Nibiru because I needed something to counter all the Solomon Great decks. And allegedly, there's going to be a bundle deal coming out in the next couple of days, which is a Nibiru bundle deal. It's absolutely typical. Uh, I've lost this. I'm sorry. Like, nothing I can do. Normal Summon Ghost. Activate Ghost's effect. I lose. Normal Summon Uni Zombie. Activate Uni Zombie's effect. I lose. Normal summon familiar, set familiar, activate zombie world, I lose. It's GG. Protoss calling dark would be bad here. Oh, he just could just imper me as well. That's true. They could do that. I guess I could have summoned Familiar, smashed Familiar into something, activate Familiar's effects, send Vampire Ghost to the graveyard. But... That's all I can do. Whoa! But actually, it shouldn't be whoa, it should be spooky. We've got a spooky raid coming in. It's Distant Coder. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. How was Coda's stream? Hope you had a good day. <laughs> raid Shadow Legends. It's not that kind of raid. Not today. Hi, everyone. Just time to get, watch me get blasted. Raid, raid, raid. It was sick. Have a fun stream, King. Distant Coda, thank you very much, man. Have a good day to you, too. Uh, just to let you know as well, we got Unchained into Diamond 1 in the uh the link festival if you want to call it that so it was good times gotta get a collab soon absolutely man thank you for the raid unchained twins collab 
Ah, you did too. Nice. That's what we like to hear. But unfortunately, this is where the vampires let me down. This is where uh, this is where I get my heart broken. Unfortunately, absolutely ruined. Iris is pretty. That is, um, it's the armor. Is it? It's Floridellis. To the best of my knowledge, is there any evidence for that in this artwork? Like, do we see like the armor coming off or anything? Alright. She did a half an hour game in the last game just to get one win and then just like two minutes just to have it taken away. Heartbreaking. Never mind. She left the armor behind. It turned to Despian Quaritis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Lore. Guys, thank you for the follows. I appreciate it. Yeah, but now that Rogeki is at two, I get why... Yeah, he could be better, but I still think Omni Negates are so good. Whoa! Whoa, all right, all right, calm down. Thank you for the follows. Thank you, thank you. Eldlich, Pete, Tri Willy, uh, Angel, Black Sunshine. Thank you, guys. Big Oof. Uh, this is one of those hands that you do not want to start with. Uh, this is... <sighs> I'll set one card face down. And then my turn. Ooh. This is what uh, a very non-meta first turn looks like. Unfortunately. Uh, it's Jess. I crafted a Royal Li Licoris. The, uh, that's uh, Trickstar, right? And a Royal Hoot Cake recently. I felt really happy. And now I have Royals for decks I want to play. Oh, congrats. I have... Um, Bad memories of um, uh, putting this. What they called it? Who cake? Medolce. Medolce has. Uh... Oh, what do you what do you negate with these now? I'll negate it. Screw it. Another one you normally stop is the it's the the Xyz monster, right? The Xyz monster tries to use its effect. Sink your teeth into them. <laughs> I think I have a hoot cake as well in Royal Finish. Or have I made that up? I'll check later. Ah! I'm alive. That is a good draw. Flip summon vampire familiar. How do you feel about that? Kidiana. Can you get the petting sewer? Combo dies. Okay, I'll keep that in mind because they break my heart sometimes, Madolce. Madolce is just so cute. I'm not arguing that. They are cute. I'd love to, to eat all of them. However, I was in a Diamond 1 rank up game, one win away, and Madolce defeated me. In the cruelest manner ever. And then I, I like lost a ton of duels in a row. And it broke my heart. Now they've left a sour taste in my mouth. Eating them is murder? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, he didn't have anything. So I don't really want to play into Max C. I've done my normal summon, haven't I? Yes. Could I get? Could I have got game if I really played? Maybe. Maybe I could have. You know, what I should have done that. I should have sent. Um, the the starter vampire to the grave. So I got another normal summon. I could have normal summoned my vampire Grace. Tributed my vampire familiar. Added an another two k damage. To be fair. Night B, thank you for the replay. We'll check it out after this duel. 
the best of my knowledge, he has nothing. We should be fine. Or you could have been Nibiru'd. True. Ooh. I thought he ended his turn then. I was excited. How many more days have we got again? Four. Four days to get this into diamonds. Tools like that, we can absolutely do it. Woohoo! Three more wins. We'll slowly get there. Right, Night B, you had a replay you wanted to submit to us. Thank you. Uh, Frendo plus. Uh, right. Night B. Nice Salomon Gray. Top duel against Aswani. Two turns, platinum ranked duel in the Link Festival, Link Regulation. Let's see how we go. Oh, Mech Knight, okay. You played Mech Knight in the Link Regulation? Going first with Mech Knights as well. Ib. Vanish add. Red, blue, yellow, purple. He's got it all. That's why Drytron fell off after coin flip exploit got fixed. Oh, you remember that when people could just quit out the game? So they didn't have to. They didn't have to go second. That was ridiculous. Oh my god. Bro! And no Mech Knights could pop off like this during the first turn. Ah! 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 What the hell? What? <laughs> what was that? That was the most illegal looking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. You just got rid of his entire hand, his entire extra deck. How is that legal? That's the Mech Knight field spell. <laughs> what? Uh, let me read it. Mech Knight field spell. World, is it World Legacy Scars? All Mech Knights in the field, you can banish eight Mech Knight monsters with different names from your graveyard and or face up from your field. Send your opponent's entire hand and extra deck to the graveyard. <laughs> what? How is that legal? In what world is that a legal card? You can banish eight Mech Knight monsters with different names from your graveyard or face up from your field. I'm sorry. That's the most unfair card I've ever heard in my entire life. That's the first time I've ever seen it um, get pulled off as well. It requires a lot of setup. In a world where you have to play Mech Knights to use it. <laughs> okay, that was insane. Uh, I can't believe someone printed on a card an effect that lets you send your opponent's entire hand and extra deck to the graveyard in modern times. Joke's on you, I play Maya Kashi. Uh, it came out before there was tw uh, the, like 12 Mech Knights. Ah, okay. So it's like the equivalent of getting out perfectly ultimate great, great Moth or something. What a lovely starting hand. And a call by the grave. If only we're going first. It might work one out of 20 duels or more, I feel. Any of you guys picked up the new sleeves, by the way? The uh, the Sky Striker ones? And if so, are you bringing a Sky Striker deck? Or do you just like the sleeves and you, you scooped them? 
They're not that, you know what? They're not that expensive, really. There were like only like 20 more gems or something more than a regular sleeve. Which I thought, I thought they would have charged more, if I'm being honest with you. The sleeves look ugly to me. I kind of get what you mean. They're okay, I think. But... I think it's just the shift from, like, Ray to just Kagari. I would rather have had, like, Kagari alternate art on the, on the card sleeve and it just, like, glows or something. Like, it shimmers rather than, like, transforming. Oh, that wasn't so bad. And a Vampire's Domination. Pog? I summon Vampire Curse. Activate Vampire Curse's effect to send my retainer to the grave. Card to add from your deck to your hand. I'll add Vampire's Grace. And I'll send a Vampire Familiar. I'll activate Vampire Retainer by sending Vampire Grace to the graveyard. I can special summon it straight to the field. At the cost of 500 life points, I can use its effect as well. And I can add a card from my deck to the hand. I will add a Vampire's Domain. Next, I will activate the effect of my Vampire Familiar. I will send Vampire Ghost to the grave, I guess. This will let me summon Vampire Familiar. Vampire Familiar, 500 life points to use its effect. I will add Shadow Vampire. I will activate Vampire's Domain. 500 life point cost. I get to normal summon again. I will link summon. Sam looks like a slifer guy. What, if I had to pick out the free Egyptian gods? I do like obelisk a lot, but I am partial to a bit of slifer, yes. That'd be cool. I can summon Vavod during my opponent's turn. That would be kind of nice. I get to tribute both of his mo monsters. Sam does look like a Slifer guy. What is this? What does that mean? I look like Yugi. I look like a main character. Thank you. I look like a strings. I look like some nutcase. Damn you. Bro. Okay, it was going to pop off then, so... It was good stuff. That was fine. Two more wins. Platinum tier three. Means you're a slacker. Excuse me? It's not inaccurate. I describe myself more as a procrastinator. I'm the DDD guy here. So since I got a royal finish DDD Destiny King Zero Laplace, uh, could you do an archetype lore video on them sometime? Oh. There's so many DDD monsters, though. There's, like, tons. Do you think he's got a cold by in his hand? Ugh. All right, we know for a fact he's only got three cards in his hand. That could be Ma Ash Blossom, Cross Out Designator, or Called by the Grave. And he doesn't have them. Watched your Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush review because I kept hearing people talking about it, but didn't know what it was. I searched YouTube and found your video. Very detailed. With game. Which one? The the Rush Duel card game. Oh. Yeah, it's just, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh! But you get to normal summon infinitely. There's only three monster zones, three spell and trap zones. There's no main phase two. There's no standby phase. Um... The I think the monster cards are better than Yu-Gi-Oh! cards with the descriptions. I like the fact that the, the level is just a number in the corner. So it's like seven stars, the number seven. That's a cool feature. You don't have to count all the stars anymore. 
And I like the fact that the card effects on Rush Duel cards, everything is a uh, soft once per turn. So you don't have to have once per turn written on every single card. And it has a requirement and a effect. So requirement, discard one card, effect, destroy one card on the opponent's side of the field. I think that's cool. I wish everything could do that. He's got one monster negate. Hmm. Guess what I just pulled, Sam? Uh, I don't know. Cyber Dragon? Vampire deck Diamond Run? Why would you do this to yourself? Because I like to suffer, apparently. Uh, it's very, very, very difficult. <laughs> All we've played this month is either Rogue or Below decks. No negates. Um. Don't quite know what to go for here. Oh, I should send familiar to the grave. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> Why didn't I send familiar? What's wrong with me? Maybe I can unwith it. Maybe he won't negate this one. Ah, damn. Okay, I can get over this monster, which is kind of nice. But there will be a steep price to pay. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. Except Kazuki special summon this card. Have I got a, I got a grace? It's got to be Avenger Ed Savior, unfortunately. It's the only thing that can get over his monster. I need to get Necroworld Banshee in the grave. Screw it. I'm sorry, Vampire Grace. If you didn't cost 2,000 life points, I might not have banished you. Oh, I can summon Banshee now. We're fine. We still got a normal summon, haven't we? I think we do. I think we still got a normal summon. Should have used call by earlier. Frau line. But monster you control can attack for the rest of this turn, except that special summon monster. I don't really want to summon that then. I'm taking Frowline. I'm taking Frowline. So much can go wrong. Um, Normalsman Frowline, attack this, boost my attack, steal his monster. But what if that's Blackout? Did we see him add a Blackout to his hand? We did. Okay, so he does have a blackout face down. The more you know. So he'll blow up my savior. Okay, okay, okay. Still have a normal summon. What a waste. Do vamp and steal monster? No, because he had um, that face down. Oh no. That'll do. I think we lost. <laughs> For one monster? 
<laughs> All right. Was it that big of an issue? Normal summon this. Sure, why not? I shouldn't do this. I know, I know. <laughs> if you activated Zombie World, the blackout couldn't have been activated. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's just getting Banshee in the grave, though. <sighs> Shooter, really? Oh, he's got nothing in his grave either. Okay, I'll take the 1700 life points. Pretty please. Eh, I could have waited. I don't know, maybe. Whoa! That was so loud. Rayleg, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you for the six months. In advance. Woofed. Rayleg, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. This game. This will be a Bron de Fleur. And there'll be no way of me stopping it. On the flirt. Oh, oh, Chen Ying. Fair, fair, fair. Ow. I'm sitting through yet another salad play in the regulation match. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. My frown line. That's game. I wouldn't have been able to uh, increase my attack enough to deal with this anyway. Ah. That was my fault. I think I played, played that a little bit wrong. Spaghetti. Very nice. Three wins. Here we go again. But desires is so dumb in Sword Soul. It's consistent enough. Okay. Pray no Ash Blossom. Beautiful. Uh, we should be able to go full combo then, I guess, if there's no... Well, there's nothing horrific. Summon number two. Mm, probably should have took the Omni Negate there. A little bit of regret. Summon number three. I think I have a Vode. I can summon that during my opponent's turn then, if we're lucky. Salazar Shadler. This is Resident Evil. So this is the typical combo we go for. We use Shadow Vampire's effects. We get to special summon a monster from the deck. We summon Scourge. 
Scourge is a fet at the cost of a thousand. Well, Vampire Grace, if summon a monster that's level six or higher or something, special summons itself. Scourge is a fet, lets me special summon a monster in my graveyard for a thousand life points. We bring back Sucker. Sucker will come back before Grace, which will let me draw a new card. And then we'll have two level sixes on the field, so that means I can go into Beatrice. Beatrice will let me send um, a Banshee to the grave. Oh, nice, Maxi. Good draw. We don't use Vampire Grace's effect because it never ends well. That has actually cost me the duel once. Sam remembers how to use vampire combos. He does. Still got it. So we send Banshee. Banshee, 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 Banshee. There she is. Activate Banshee's effects. So this is theoretically probably the ideal first turn for this deck. Uh, I'm happy with that. He's got nothing in his grave I can bring back. No. End phase. We toggle on. Now, if they have a call by the grave, which is very possible, they're probably going to call by the Balladrock, which is probably why I maybe should have took the trap instead. But we'll see. Balladrock's grave. Standby phase. We'll do that in just one second. Balladrock comes back. And we might as well just throw the Maxi out there as well. All right. That's as good as it gets. The only thing that would have been better is if we had the trap face down as well. Uh, I don't want to play pay 2,000 life points. No. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Oh, no, some zombie world. Uh, I contribute two of his monsters during their turn. Uh, we might be playing Eldritch, it's looking like. That's fine. So if they get two monsters on the field, that's good for us. I mean, even if it's just one monster, one Eldlich, we contribute it. We just can't lose Sucker. Sucker is what lets us use our opponent's field. This is birds. Oh. Oh. Well, I can normal summon anyway, so that's that's good. So we can get past um, Barrier Statue of the Wind. Which will be nice. Reasoning. That is a special summon. Level two. I normally go for level three. Ah, cubics. Level two. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you can't summon it normally. Uh oh. I guess at least we've got some negates. We've got an ash blossom here. If this guy's normal special summon. You can send one cubic must bring your deck to the grave. No. Bold of this. Mm. If he's got three cubic monsters in his hand with the big one, it's not ideal. But I can still tribute. I'm going to keep toggle on. Remember, I can still tribute one of his monsters and or two of his monsters. Negate Bal Baladrock, I guess. Uh-oh. Dharma. People want Dharma in the grave. The free K is kind of unaffected by monster effects. That is not ideal. Not ideal at all. He's going oh, to negate these two. I need this to be not negated. Don't do it. No. Leave Sucker alone. Leave it. Pick anything other than Sucker. No! We're in a pickle now. Big pickle. I can use Vamp... Oh. It's unaffected by monster effects, you say?
four cards in hand. Is that enough to OTK? Not ideal. Counter trap would have been killer here. Yeah, yeah. Typical, isn't it? I don't think I can draw anything. Unaffected by monster effects under 3k. Biggest game. Not like this. I know they can get like double attack or something as well. And with the 3k damage they do afterwards. I've only got 3,000 life points left anyway. Oh. I'm very dead then. See, I can summon Vampire Vamp and steal a monster on their side of the field. But if it's unaffected by all card effects, then that's not really going to help me. Uh, unaffected by other monsters, activated effects, whose original attack is 3,000 or less. 2,000, 2,800. I can make this card bigger than that. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, can I do that? Can I tribute? Can I tribute these two? Take control of this. It can attack twice too. Oh. Oh, then, yeah. A thousand damage here. Yeah, this is, this is super game. It's very sad. Oh, original attack? Oh. I can still take this monster. <laughs> I have to defend my vampire ghost. Which I would have tried to tribute your monster. I don't know if that's part of an effect, but you know. It's something. Uh, normal summon vampire vamp, I guess. Tribute this, tribute that. Summon this. Vampire vamp's effect. Steal. Oh, no! No! Why? Why? Oh, that's <laughs> I should have gone for the vote. I've learned the error of my ways. I'm very sorry. That would have been so nice. What a steal that would have been. I'd have had 5,000 attack. I would have still lost though, right? Um, yeah, I'd take 3,000 damage. I'd take 200 damage, then I'd take 3,000. So yeah, it would have been game. So lose-lose situation, that one. Um, this is where it doubles its attack or something. Oh. 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 Hello? What are you doing to me? Why is the opponent still playing the game and not currently killing you? Uh, I think he has more. Maybe I'll draw into... Um... My frow line. Oh no, I still lose. Oh no, but frow line, I can increase my. No, no, I'll still lose. I still lose. Heartbreak. Unaffected by monster effects. Red. Ridiculous. Not that I don't want anyway, but still. You got cubed. Robots for everyone, cubics. Very sad. I'll go first. Maybe he didn't get the chance to do this very often. Yeah, treat himself. We don't mind. The worst thing in the world. Uni zombie. All right, we try and do the the hand mill first, I guess. No, I need to do the deck mill. 
Unless I want to get rid of Vampire Vamp. This is the one that could get Ash Blossomed. It's fine. It's one of those turns. Cubic Christmas. Shadir, was that you who just blasted me with the cubic deck? Uh, GG man, well played. Good game, good game. Um, you, you broke my heart. I was like, I've got this chat. I can, I can negate this. I can tribute this. And then you threw out the forbidden droplet. I'm like, please don't negate my sucker. Please don't do it. You negated it. And I was like, oh, I can steal his monster. I can steal his monster with my vampire. Nope, nope, nope. Unaffected by monster effects. So well done. Solid win. Congratulations. <laughs> Bottom bro. I'm playing Tri Brigade. People play Tri Brigade in Despia now. That's a thing. And what did he add? Branded Sword. I was. I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait for um, the spell card, I guess. I was gonna Ash Blossom. Uh, branded Fusion. We gotta Ash that. I'm not used to YouTube's new layouts. Uh, what do you mean? What, for like subs and stuff? I didn't even notice it was different. Oh, yeah, it is very different. Um, thumbnails are now rounded. The subscribe button, I think, is white or something now. Oh, God, yeah, it's so different. What? Oh, it's weird. I agree, I agree. What does my channel look like? Does my channel look any different? Oh, it feels faster, though. I don't know if it feels like that for you. Slightly rounded corners. <laughs> I think that looks okay. I'm into that. They got rid of trending? They did? Why? Not that I've ever been trending in my entire life. Oh, they did. It's just home shorts and subs now. That's kind of nuts. All live mixes, gaming, Overwatch, podcasts, Yu-Gi-Oh, John Tron, sitcoms, Legend of Zelda, Silent Hill, film criticisms. Oh, this is what um, YouTube thinks I like to watch. Mixes, music mixes, gaming, Overwatch 2, podcasts, Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, Jon Snow, sitcoms, The Legend of Zelda, Silent Hill, film criticism, Nintendo, characters, Final Fantasy, I've never watched Final Fantasy, trailers, I don't know what all this is. New to you. I'm into that. That's kind of cool. I think it looks really nice in dark mode, a nice soft grey. I only look at stuff in dark mode. I love how I just, just let my opponent just pop off now. I just accumulate advantage, hopefully. Did they change anything on this? Is there a, an app update or anything? I haven't seen a Vert Anaconda in a hot minute. What podcast do you listen to? I don't listen to podcasts as much as I used to. Um, I used to listen to them a lot. Uh, what am I listening to at the moment? I guess the only one I'm really watching is the the Trash Taste podcasts. Mm, and I'll sometimes watch the Abroad in Japan one. I don't think there's many I'm actually watching at the moment. Is that enough for game? Six. <laughs> 100 life points left. Unfortunately, I need life points to activate my cards and effects, so that's not good for me. <laughs> oh. 100 life points in a dream. Can we do this, chat? Can we do this? Hey, Glot Bloom. Activate Royal Finish Zombie World. Alright. 
What happened to his... Oh, he didn't make... Um... I definitely lost this. <laughs> Is there any way for me to win? Send Plague Spreader to the grave. Send a Ballad Rock. Get it back next turn. Um, activate a bit of this. Sound the Retreat Exodia. No. Uh, what is that? Uh, that's kind of all I've got here. <laughs> There you go. I like listening to D&D podcasts. Mostly just roll with it. I'll drop. Oh, I don't have a vampire in the field. Oh, but if this dies, then I do get a vampire. If I can negate a monster effect, vampire domination give me some life points, which would be, would be so nice. Sure. Now he's going to play with the cards he has. Got to banish something, right? I guess we'll just let it roll. Someone's getting banished. Probably my monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I expected as much. We needed a... F no, we, had, we don't have anything. Saying. Too few life points to do anything with that, even with the maxi. Mostly a troll deck based on level resist wall and sound of the retreat. You summon all five Exodia pieces to the field and then bring them all out to your hand. My channel actually has tons of videos about that. I want to see how many decks I beat with my retreat deck. Oh, you're getting like a collection. Every uh, different deck you beat. This is tough. This is a hard climb. Single cards, mag Magnificent Maven's Values. $12, everything's $12. Triple Tactics Talent, Lightning Storm, Appaloosa. Okay. Kind of cool. Ghost system might not be bad for you. And it's a zombie. Normal summon vampire ghost. Okay, we can stop uh, an ash. It's a good first turn. Uh, can we go full combo? I believe so. Let's collect this encoder doors. He's... Uh, so easy to stream snipe. Rivalry probably helping this deck. We have rival oh rivalry with warlords. We have that in our other version of this deck. I was just trying it without it for a while. What I could do is drop a vampire's domain and a vampire's domination, and then I could see how we do with that, but we'll see. It's a great card. Like, Zombie World on the field, like, shuts down so much. Okay, we have our first turn. So I want to see you succeed. I want to root for you, but it's hard when you keep playing these garbage. <laughs> 
I'm trying. I'm trying to get them good. This is how we find out, though. This all started with Six Samurais. Once I played Six Samurais and realized, wait a minute. This deck might not be good enough to get to Diamond. That was when I realized, uh-oh, maybe not every deck can get to Diamond. Oh, am I lagging? I am lagging. Come back to me, internet. Come on to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you binned Ancient Gears. That is true. I did do that. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about Ancient Gears. It's all a blur. You're back. Sorry for the internet problems. Paying all these life points is such a steep cost as well. If you want to get like a good first turn anyway. I could ignore the vampires, I guess. And oh, I don't know. I could ignore the non-vampires and play around them, but. Any deck can get to diamond if you have enough floodgates. I mean, it's it's not untrue. Alright, at least we got domination this time, so that's an extra negate. I decided the next month's deck. Um, I think it's going to be Trickstar. Some people have said not to play Trickstar because they think it's a bit too like, um, like gimmicky or too spammy or something. But I mean, we'll see. Send of a vampire from my deck to the grave. Do I want to do that? It'll be fine. Benji draws. Hopefully no called by. If I have to negate a called by, I have to do it, but it's just... Somebody say tunes? That feels like a call by the grave. Okay, we're good. Baladrock. Reincarnation was at three. Trick stars, you will suffer. Do you play the vampy waifu that suck? <laughs> I do play... I have two suck-related uh, vampires. That's an interesting choice. Um, that's fine. I haven't seen someone use an MST in a very long time. Interesting. Uh, it's a shame to lose uh, vampire's domain. I would have liked to, you know, gain some life points, but I have another one in the deck, I guess. What do I plan to use next month? <sighs> no. I never get to use Vampire Domination's effect on monsters. It's always on back row. I just want to gain life points. I want a nice chunky 5k monster to use an effect. <sighs> Master Dual Ro Dulrosis. Hey, mate, love your content. Your YouTube definitely had an effect in getting me back into the game after five years. Oh, thank you. Uh, quick question. What archetype do you think has done the most damage to the game? I would say Kaijus or Necros are up there. Now, I'm not that savvy on the Necros impact on the game, but I can see why Kaijus would be. Absolutely. <sighs> They're a necessary evil, though, I think. Like, beautiful. We got that win. I think Kaiju is a necessary evil. They do suck. Having your boss monster distributed for free is disheartening.
But going against a card that cannot be affected by anything, can't be destroyed by battle, and like you can't, you don't have a way of getting it out in the deck. I think it's kind of fine. I don't know. I think the, the biggest impact on Yu-Gi-Oh has probably been the how generic cards have become. Like things like like boss monsters, like Access Code Talker, and things like that. Maybe like Link Ones. Mm. The prevalence of negating Omni Negate cards that stop your opponent from playing. Floodgates just stop your opponent from playing again. I just don't like things that stop you stop you from playing. Uh, I'm busting for the lobby right back. Dare we inform him of your atrocities? Uh oh. Don't forget Six Samurai for being a notable landmark for Rapid Special Summoning. That's the reason why they made Maxi, apparently. Uh, I think they said in an interview. They are like, Six Samurai Special Summon a lot. Let's make a card to counter Six Samurai. Oh, what, what did they do? What about Unchained Abomination? Not requiring an Unchained Monster like the other links. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's true, to be fair. Uh, Double summon. Do I go with... Let's get that in the grave. Zombie world now. Or start with some vampire stuff. Vampire World, Balladrock next turn. Send this to start vampire stuff now. It's probably Max C. Might be right. And because I think you're right, I'm going to go for the Balladrock one. What would you rather resolve? A Max C or Baladrock? Let's see what he would rather have resolve. Definitely got something. Oh, Max C resolved. You called it! It was a Max C. Uh, to be fair, they only draw once now. All right. Any monster effect that activates on the field now, I can negate and banish. Well, I get one of each, but not in succession. Ugh. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> Why now? No. 
<laughs> I'm sick of it. I, I, I played it enough in the Link Festival. No. He's going to play through Max C. But why? All right. All right, we played enough of these. We know how they work, sort of. Kind of, I guess. Imagine if they did Max C and they called by cancelling out their own draws. <laughs> Weird question. Obviously, this doesn't work. But you can't call by a grave... Maxi after its activation to negate it midway through, can you? You definitely, I know for a fact you can't do that. I just, I've never done it, so I don't have, you know, like someone tells you that this pan's hot, don't touch this pan. You know it's hot, but you touch it anyway just to make sure. Make sure. Okay, okay, okay. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Please, can I draw a frow line? Uh, frow line would keep me alive. I need it so badly. No, it's a lingering effect. Okay, okay. The little fat, you know, when it pops up in the corner. That's what throws me off. I know you can't see it, but. <laughs> Fraulein, where are you? I need you. I need you. I need you now. He's going for it. There it is. Come on, Fraulein on this one. Damn. That's game. Unless he adds a card, then I can use Ash Blossom's effect, then I can banish access code talker. That would be kind of nice. Bye, Ballad Rock. Or oh, Uni Zombie, fair. Bye, Ballad Rock. We needed one ad. Never happened. Nib or nothing, we don't have Nibiru in the deck. Oh, dro Droll and Lot Bird is the only way to stop it mid effect. Ah. Fair enough. That didn't look like Salomon Greek to me, though. That looked like an access code talker killing me. Just saying. You know. <laughs> Drop these two for Nibiru. Oh, I don't know. Two maxi. Should I play three? Should I drop one zombie world? To be fair, we got one brick in the deck. They say if you have bricks, you should play plus one to stop the brick. So I should play one more max C, right? Because then you're less likely to draw <laughs> Boulder Arch. Someone some on them, like, it works somehow. Drop a Synchro for a Link 1. I don't have um, a Link Rebo, though. I say I would. I really don't want to craft one. Finally made it to plat two in this link event. Only playing three games a day after it broke my men. Oh, broke your brain. I see. I see. Um, I might send desire. I could send desire. Or I can send this. I guess I very rarely use desire. Screw it. Grace the Grave. We've seen this. We've seen this play. We know this play is going to go out. We just need to not get into Be Rude. Almirage? Anima? What's... Oh, I could put an Anima. I have an Anima, actually. 
But no, you need level one. I guess it worked with familiar. That, that could work. Wait. What did I do wrong there? Mm. Somehow done this wrong and I don't know how. Oh well. Alright, we'll think about putting an anima in then. Plus it always has the the chance I could steal. Which would be nice. Oh, that survey. I did that survey as well. Um I said the event was fine for the most part. My biggest problem was the the fact that I could uh D rank, which absolutely sucked. And Oh, I have I've really misplayed. <coughs> I've misplayed a ton. That's ah, great. That'll, that'll do me. That'll just end of my turn. Normal some of that. Oh, no, I, I did misplay. I, there wasn't another play I could have done. Oh. I'm, I threw this duel. My bad. And I was going to max C straight away, and I just ruined it for myself. Okay, there you go. Am I playing Numeron? Saying it was fine was just being too nice. Well, it was fine at the start. I enjoyed everything up to Platinum. As soon as I got in Platinum and I pursued the final rewards for that event, it just became a slog and a grind. And it I just didn't enjoy it anymore. So that's why I didn't like the event towards the tail end. So everything from Platinum onwards was too much of a grind. If you're going to put a reward there, don't make it so much of a... It just literally took me forever. And that was my problem with it. It's fine. I contribute one of his monsters. Looks like Numeron. I don't know what the hell this is. Fairy Tale Luna? You can target any number of Beast Beast Warrior and uh, control, return to the hand, then return face up monsters to your controls. It's a ghost! A vampire ghost! I'm getting one of those monsters, unless this gets negated. In which case, that will suck. Oh no, wait, I can just negate it. <laughs> Excuse me? Why can't I tribute my opponent's monsters? I have a vampire sucker on the field. Was it negated without me knowing about it? Oh, they're not, they're not zombies. I don't have... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I see the error of my ways. I've also... I think I've just activated my vampire graces ability in the graveyard. Thus paying 2,000 life points. It's one of them days. Did I pay 2k life points? Okay, no, I did. I just paid 1,000. It's, it's all right. It's all right. They're not zombies. Nice. Oh no, he can wipe my entire field. This is not good. No zombie world, they aren't zombies. Yeah. So he had he's got two loon he's got another lunar in his hand. He had these two, so he's got two mysterious cards in there.
Oof. We're low. Earth monster, earth monster, spell cast. I can't super poly anything. Or can I? <gasps> Perfect. Normal summon. Oh, he's going to negate it with Fairytale Luna. I know he is. Uni Zombies effect. Send from deck to grave. Change its level. This is not going to work. Is it negate? He's not going to negate. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Send that. I can roll banished effect. Are these quick effects? No. Ugh. Alpha doesn't work in the zombie world. Nice. Now. How do I make this work? Uh, you know, Dragon, Necro, Never Soul. I can't smash that into this monster. They'll both die, right? I, this needs to have lower attack. Is that right? This card can be destroyed by... Um, I'm still throwing, guys. I'm sorry. Ugh. Maybe I meant that. Oh, no, no. That, that was a legitimate misplay, to be fair. Screw it. Absolutely throwing this door. Oh, that can't be destroyed by battle? Are you kidding me? All right, we know he's got, um, I have a vampire on the field. I'm going to get a Bal Baladrock next. Cool. Oh! When I was opening the Magnificent Maven set, we got some shiny tokens, and it was a Dark Soul token. I know where it comes from now. I, I didn't realize. Normal Rare Event was good. I like that. That was different. I had to play, like, a really weird deck for that. And it was cheap. The monster's a zombie! Not ideal. Um, if I negate... She'll use a Luna's effect. Ah! Oh, okay. I'll negate then. I was going to banish the... Lo I was going to use the banish effect to banish the Lunar and let my monster go to the grave. But I guess this is fine. Oh, <laughs> no prohibition! I have that... My, my prohibition that I have is so beat up. When did that first come out? Cards are already on the field are not affected. Nice. All right, chill out.
I miss Highlander event for how ridiculous it was. I wonder if they'll do like a band event or something. Or like an old school one. I mean, we have we deranked or have we just been stuck where we are? Four. We went from five. Yeah, we went five to four. We've been stuck in plat four. Just as planned, eh? Yes. Even with all those misplays. There's two duels I've had today where I just miss, 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 misplay. No response. First, please. Bum, 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 bum. I keep looking at the uh, the YouTube changes now. I like it. Ooh, new Cosmonaut video. I'll watch that later. Coolio. Not a great start. Well, we'll we'll see, won't we? All right. Necrol Banshee. Get set up early. Or send maybe a Vampire Ghost so I can do a tribute so I get an extra summon. Ghost or Banshee? Hmm. Or Grace. I'll send Grace. See how this goes. Just saw your name in my game crash. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, Bucky, no worries. Sorry, we didn't get to have a game. Need the normal summon. Didn't know about the clicking thing. I can make a Red Eyes Necro. I can make a Boral Savage. That's kind of cool. I don't made zombie. Can you just for each zombie monster on the field? And the graveyard when another zombie monster is a trouble battle. You can push some of this one zombie monster from my graveyard to your field. That's kind of cool. Someday, maybe. Someday. I'll keep the uni zombie. I think I can get... An, I'll have... I think I can make a Baronde Fleur. I think. As long as nothing stops me from going into anything other than a vampire. Ooh. This could be a really good first turn. Summon. Summon and draw. Ooh. -hoo. Beautiful. Probably should have gone for Barande Fleur just in case they do have like a Nibiru or something. This is a first for me. I have to remember that combo line. The rare Baron summon. 
I kind of wanted to get out as a zombie necro dragon then. I think that could have been kind of fun as well. End phase. And we got to keep our vampire's domain. So if we can somehow do some damage, that'd be kind of nice. Okay. We've got tons of things we can do here. Baladrox summon will get me another card to my hand. We'll then have an Ash Blossom and a card to discard for our Super Polymerization. We'll have a Bronde Fleur for our Omni Negate because we didn't get the trap out. We'll also have Baladrox because that can negate monster effects and do one banish. So this looks like it's all positives. It's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Just played around Super Poly against Despia with Subterra. Well done, well done. One win away from Diamonds. Tomias, I hope you can do it. Good luck. Nice, he's got the sleeves. Only just looked at his field. What is this? Sky Striker? Eldlich? Eldlich. I'm, this is the second time I've seen one of these play this. It's fine. Uh, I don't think that trap really does that much. Uh, spell does that much anyway. Despia for your rank up game. Good luck. Is that the strongest board you've made turn one? I guess if we had the trap as well, that probably would have been the strongest. Oh, we're playing zombies? Uh, okay. I'm going to Ash Blossom that. Yes. fine. We've still got one Omni Negate, one Monster Negate. This is fine. I don't think I've ever seen them Fusion Summon. Ah, he's got Fumbles! It's a mirror match! Away! Oh, it's going to break my heart to do what I'm about to do, but it's so cool. It's Vampires! Vampire Eldlich. I want to look at his deck after this. Send my bath away. I too have a never soul. I think you'll find. Ah, 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 ah. Oh no, Rizzle! Rizzle. That was going so well. Honestly's deck. That was all, so close to a mirror match. Look at that. Vampire Ghost. Wait a minute. How does that work? I don't understand. How does Vampire Ghost go into that? Normal summon vampire ghost. Send one of a vampire card from your hand or face when you field to the graveyard. Add one level four higher vampire monster from your deck. He doesn't have any others. Oh, the v v vode. Normal summon. Discard. Add. That's weird. Kind of cool, though. He's here to teach you the way. Perhaps I'm here to teach him the way. You have a mirror with what? Oh, salads. Anti-spell fragrance woofed. Is Sam going to play Eldritch cards now? No. No, we're not. <laughs> no. Tomas, you just, uh, did you get diamond one? I'm not going first on this, but I do have a max C. I do have a max C. So he sends the Vode, number one, or another ghost. It would seem so. Oh, no. We're playing Zombie World. Okay. We need a Super Poly. I 
Everyone's playing spooky decks for uh, October. I love it. <laughs> the horror. We have the same sleeves. Oh, he's playing Vendred. Okay. I don't think I have ever played Vendred in Master Duel. I've only ever played against uh, Duel Links. So this could be cool. <clears throat> it's heartbreaking. They don't really omni negate, but they do have like monster negates and stuff. Nebula, how's it going? Sing on the one way away. I like I have to take a break now to avoid bad luck. True. I don't know what the best time of the day is to play to avoid like tryhards. Revenge Red Slayer. Slayer. re incar link summon that looks like send a slayer summon a slayer do you play vampire design in your deck i do we have one vampire desire oh that's so bad what's your effect again what's about this card battles an opponent's monster during damage can you banish one zombie monster from your graveyard this card gains fringe attack if this card oh, okay 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 I could get the Baladrock in the grave quite easily. Hmm. I guess I might as well do this. All right, we can pop off. I am sorry, Indica. We're going for it. Reincarnation ritual summon. Yeah. I mean, that's what that was. I contribute his monster. Behold. The beauty of going second. Summon Vampire Sucker. Domain has allowed me to have a normal, normal, another normal summon. Your monster's a vampire over there. I tribute it. Summon this. Slayer. Origin, that's the big one. Alas. Mm, I won't be able to attack with everything. It's kind of a shame. But monster you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn, except that special summon monster. So let's get that attack out of the way with first so I can gain some life points. Probably should have played this differently. Oh well, we've, we've committed now. I can stream a solo mode? I will. Absolutely. Uh, what can I send to help me out here? I've got Bloom. Zombie World is technically on the field.
the Vode. Fascinator. Thiever monster. Slay you. I got two level eights. Screw it, why not? Two level eight monsters. The zombie vampire. I would like Vavode on the field. It's it's a nice card to have, but oh well. Grimmarju, another Gloat Bloom. Uh, I'll take the Fascinator. Hang on. This lets me special summon from my hand, right? Oh no, look what I've done! <laughs> what have I done? I can tribute whatever he brings out, I guess. Battle Lord. Did you do a vampire archetype video? I did. Five. Oh. I could summon Uni Zombie and get it slightly stronger, but I guess there's no point. Okay, this seems like a really good field. For reference, I could bring back one of his monsters in his grave. I could tribute one of my monsters to put it onto my side of the field. I don't know. I mean... <sighs> this isn't the strongest field in the world. I'm not going to lie. Vendred story kind of made me want to play the deck. Oh, the story's awesome. I think I did a Vendred uh, archetype video. I don't know how accurate my, my lore was. Oh yeah, Beatrice. I forgot about. I forgot about that. That's fair. I mean, I didn't actually have anything to. Uh... Doesn't that do something in the grave? I can't banish it anyway. Hi guys, congrats. Start win boosters. Tomorrow's payday as well. Congrats. Treat yourself. Buy yourself something nice. Ooh, Battle Drock in the grave. I saw it. Origin makes the monster immune or something, doesn't it? I can't remember how it works. A lot going on here. Ah, oh, I could have banished his Baladrock in his grave. That actually might have been the best. Oh, no, no, because we got, we got the Vode. The Vode can negate. Banish Slayer? Yeah, Banish Slayer. I could have also banished Baladrock, but Baladrock would have been negated by Vavode on the field now. So, that was good. That was good. Who plays Vendred? That guy. That was cool. It's funny the interaction when there are two or more Baladrock on the field. I can imagine. Nightmarish. The game should tell you that Grace missed timing before you won. My field was full, wasn't it? I think I can summon it anyway. Ah, oh, we whiffed. Okay, it's not the end of the world. We've got a frown lion. We might be able to survive. 
Plus we're playing Marincess. 20 quid. 20 quid? Ooh. I take it back. It's not Marincess. I'm going to negate Ecclesia's effect with Ash. And then they'll call by the Graved Ash, because they absolutely have it, and then I'll maxi. Never mind. Unicorn Power, thank you for the replay. 99% of people with this board play more incest. Well, I was wrong. It was, um, it's either Despia, or it's Sword Soul. And it looks like it's bricked. I could summon a Fra Fraulein. I could do a, t a whopping 1100 damage. Or I could normal summon Ash Blossom. Normal summon Ash Blossom. Send both to the graveyard, summon Sucker. And just attack. Oh, it feels like a waste. We need a zombie world door field. Oh, that'd be cool. Like little hands coming up and little gravestones and stuff. That'd be cool. I like that. But it's wasted now. It's, we're nearly out of uh, October. I want to gain life points, though. I don't really want to send it to the grave. Maybe get some, like, top tier... Top deck. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, no. I shouldn't have brought this back. This is a bad play. Okay, good. He's negated it. Uh, Whoa! That actually might have been a good thing for us. I think if I'd have brought that back, it doesn't have its, its effects negated. Or am I thinking of a different card? Yeah, it still would have its effect. So I'd have given him a monster that he could just tribute away. So thank you for imperming that, actually. That worked out quite well. No rush, no rush, no rush. Six bubs. Let's go, Suchia. Thank you so much. Thank you for the six months. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for keeping the lights on over here. Slifer Red. That's the good one. Don't tell the uh, the, the Society of Light members, but uh, Slifer Red's where it's at. Okay, I've always wanted to see if two vampires' domains can stack. I've always wanted to know. Obviously, I can't normal summon twice, but can I get double life points? That's greedy, isn't it? That is greedy. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I won't do it. It's too greedy. But you do gain more life points. They don't stack. No, I know, I know the normal summons don't stack. It's. I wondered if the life points double stack. I've always wanted to find out. But I'm too scared to give him one more turn because I know he's playing Sword Soul. Double heal? Hmm. Please stack. I mean, it would have been cool. Just like a, a duel of getting loads of life points. Oh. No worries. And carry you Shin on the link event. Ah, 
That's an amazing top deck. I can do another 600 damage here. Should I do that? Uh, yeah, go on then. Vampire Sucker. Bring back Ash Blossom. <laughs> ah. I want these life points. I want to see Sam get 3,200 life points. Uh, oh, Jan1, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the kind words. I'm getting stronger. <laughs> They're going to pop off in a minute. Literally, they've only got to get one card, and I'm kind of done. Well, I do have one card to prep me, but... So you don't get an 1800 booty. No. 10k life points, though? When does that happen? Go on. Summon a monster, use its effect. Yes. Yes, use its effect. 1500 life points for me. <laughs> this is the first game I've had where it's just pure draining my opponent's life points slowly. Oh no, I didn't get anything. That was a rank up game as well. Woohoo! My goodness. Can vampires do it? To be fair, they've been here before. <sighs> Platinum 3. Four more wins for Platinum Tier 2. What time are we on? Half 10. What's four years old? Red Dead 2 is still the best game in the world. Red Dead 2 is fantastic. The first time I played that, uh, I, f I felt things. Emotions. And it ended really good. Uh, check deck. It probably wasn't great. Uh, this is Unicorn's uh, Unicorn Powers replay. Top replay. Stupid player. Oh, Kasumi. Turn one. Stupid player brings a stupid deck to a stupid festival and takes on a stupid challenge. You've sold me on this. This is good. Has anyone ever just left Twitch on in the background of a device to see where you end up in 10 hours after being raided multiple times by streamers? Uh, no, I don't think I have done that. <laughs> I mean, I've left my stream on and it's sort of like, I guess it's moved to other people's. I didn't see a single... Prank Kids deck in the, um... The Link Festival, actually, I've just realised. No card destruction. Oh wait, is it just at the Max C challenge? Okay. So, you're going to summon like 50 times now? Also. Maxi. Block Golem. Three summons. Oh, here we go. Four summons. Appaloosa. Five summons. Can stop uh, Nibiru now. Great. Oh, and you've got card destruction as well. I, I see how you're going to win. You just need to get through half of his deck, don't you? 30 cards. Okay. So 15 more summons and you win. Sort of. Now I see why Block Dragon is banned. Yes. Just put a, a hard ones per 10 on there. It's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> so much Link summoning. Oh my god. Advanced Painter deck is nuts. This is it, right? It's about 15 left. 19. <laughs> Card destruction, discard. <laughs> um ran out of cards and said could not draw. Um, I'll be honest. Some of the things that you lot do to people on this game is 
Uh, hilarious. That was great. We pet your dragon maid for that. <laughs> hey. <gasps> Card capital. Oh, is this you? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. I like that border, by the way. Very nice. Well done. Very good. Very good. <sighs> Unicorn power, GG, man. That was a... Uh, I didn't count due to the timer. Oh, so you just had to quickly go for it. Well, that second from top is Coda. It is. What, on the replays then? Hmm. All right. That's me done. It's half past ten. Uh, I mean, in terms of vampires, I think we did quite well today. I mean, overall, we were majorly positive. We went up two levels. We went up two levels today, didn't we? Yeah. Or is it Platinum 5? We went Platinum 4 and we just finished on Platinum 3. So two levels a day. Can we get into Diamond? I mean, theoretically. I mean, some of these were just like Insta scoops, but... Heracross with the mate change. This will be the new mate from the next stream onwards again then. Uh, Heracross wants share the dragon maid. And I shall. Mate, where is my exclusive? The Lux. No one asked for the uh, the instant fusion one. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for that. Kind of tried to FTK me and failed. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Right. That was fun. Uh, we'll probably be back tomorrow. I know tomorrow's a Thursday, but we kind of need to get some streams in to uh, to get this into Diamond, so we might do another one. So I'll see you all soon. Have a good day. Uh, have we got a raid in us? Is anybody on? Uh... Yu-Gi-Oh. Master Duel. Hey, we're number one, number one Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel English-speaking streamer. Look at us. 